All right, everybody, we got a Battletech uh, game going on. It's a defend the base. Over here, we have some defenders that have uh, sallied forth from the base. Is like way over there. But these guys are initially in the media engagement. The uh, surveillance drones have picked up movement on the frontier. So they are doing it, coming out here outside the base in this sector to see what's coming down the pipeline. As you can see, there's a road coming in towards the base. We got some hills, some trees, and somebody over here that you have no idea who are yet because you haven't spotted them, but you do know that there's movement going on. It's a dawn's early light. All right. So uh, we have, it looks like a axeman, a rifleman, hunchback. Ooh. Suddenly we have a awesome showed up, another swayback, and a spitter. Yeah, that's a hatchetman, not an axeman. Yeah, okay. And there is a difference. One's bigger. Yeah, that's true. And then one isn't available yet. And over here they have the Jenner, uh, Phoenix Hawk, and a couple uh, locusts. locusts that are slow moving. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have the cards have been uh, shuffled. shuffled up, and let's just see. You, you, any questions before we get kicked off? Nope. No? I'm sure I'll have some later. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the first uh, victim of the day, we have the Nine of Diamonds. Who? All right. All right, so go ahead and go from there. And we'll be back with some more information with uh, Turn 1. Turn 1 is in the books. All right, these guys sort of sallied forth going on. We're not sure what exactly. I uh, can't really see much what's out there. They know there's something on their radar over here on the frontier. And uh, those pesky drones overhead going on so uh you want to shuffle shuffle do they the shuffle shuffle uh so right now go ahead and roll uh two dice any dice yes oh that's bad <laughs> yes it is okay all righty and all right. <laughs> Just the opposite. Yes, it was. All right, that lets me know what's going on. All right. Oh, God. So, yeah, it's like when you roll snake eyes, that's not good for you. And snake eyes are just bad in general unless it's a specific thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you got everything shuffled over there? And we'll just see what happens. Who's up first? Oh, that's me, so I got to quit the video. That's a locust popped up. And we'll be back. All right, turn two is in the books. We got the slow moving glacial uh, unit over here, <laughs> slowly marching down and trying to block the road and see what's happening. And over here, we got Speedy Gonzalez and their new friend over here that showed up. So that's what's going on at the moment. And we'll just see what happens here. All right, so uh, nobody was in range yet, even though they could see each other now. Uh, they know that there's a couple, there's a locust out there and a phoenix hawk. You see that with your eyes on. And the uh, locust over here sees all your entire force. So they go, hmm, this is not good. That's heavier than all of our guys put together, that one. <laughs> so... We'll just see what happens. All right, so go ahead and roll two dice. Eleven. Wow. All right. All right. All right, so looks like you're going to get one reinforcement. Okay. So pick up Mac from your reinforcement pile and put it at the end of the table. <clears throat> what do we want? We'll do this. Pizzas are out of the oven. And it's pizza time. If you didn't hear that, it's pizza time. Here's your card. There you go. And... <laughs> oh, boy. What is that thing? It's a Warhammer. A Warhammer. 
Is they it, decided to pick one big guy and bring it in. So there you go. Is it m missiles or melee? These all uh, PPCs. You got that card marked? Is that two? Two diamonds. What's a PPC? Particle uh, uh, cannon. Oh, so, it's like, so it's just a powerful cannon? Yeah, it does 10 damage. That's pretty good. Don't get anybody. If you get if I get up in their face, they have problems because they got minimum range problems. All right, so that is the first thing. You guys got some reinforcements, and I'm the first one up. All right, turn three is in the books. Over here, the guy is moseyed down the road, um, being chased. Hey, wait for me. Uh, the Warhammer running down the road right there. Over here, the uh, spider jumped into the woods right here. And a locust come running right up next to him. A little bit of woods in between him. And uh, these guys ran up and said, hey, we can shoot this locust. And they couldn't get a target lock on him, except for the, uh, the locust, which was point-blank range. said, hey, I can shoot. And... The spider said he can shoot, and they shot at each other and totally whiffed. I was at least by a foot. Yours was by a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, they had some LRMs raining down around them from the one locust that's over there shot, but epic fail. It was a pillow fight. And they both sides have rolled off, and way no reinforcements this turn. So... We'll just have to see who is the first victim. It's the Ten of Diamonds. That's my hunchback. The hunchback. What's a hunchy going to do? Probably just run forward six. Run six. Get into the, get into the game. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and put that back out there. There we go. All right, next is the Jack of Diamonds. That would be you guys. The other hunchback. The other hunchback. Where is he going? Forward six. Or what do you want to do? So are we at a stop now so they could turn without problems or no? Yeah, you can turn now and then run forward five if you wanted to. There you go. Turning counts as one. Yep, one point costs you a turn. And he still had five left, so he could go forward five. So, there we go. I'm going to stop the video right here as we move on to the... And yes, we have to because it's my guy. All right, we'll be back. Okay, here we go. Turn four is in the books. The uh, posse is moving out over here. Uh, this Phoenix Hawk and this Hatchet Man faced off against each other around the corner and did a shot at each other doing nothing. Over here, the uh, spider jumped over here and the locust come running up behind him and fired everything he has and missed with everything, then tried to kick him and failed. All, all I came he, that close. All he got was a medium laser to the face for his troubles. Yeah, and he got a medium laser in his face, so that hurt from the side. Uh, let's see. That is pretty much it. The Jenner got hit. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, the Jenner took a PPC shot. To the leg. To the leg. Needed, what, a 12 to hit? And you got one? Nine. I need nines to hit. Okay, yeah, you got the special skills. Yeah, yeah that helped. Okay. So that is everything. Uh, everybody roll two dice. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> We're moving into turn five. All right. First up is a nine of diamonds. Spider. That'd be you guys. All right. We'll be back. At the end of turn five, things got a little hairy here. Uh, these guys all moseyed up over here. The Phoenix Hawk jumped over here. The spider's running away and got intercepted by two mechs. And you're lucky you didn't get hit in the physical attack from the 
Crusader, he would have kicked your leg off. Is it that big of a repair? Yeah. yeah. It's 65 tons. So take oh. 65 divided by 5. It tells you how many, how much damage you would do. Yes, it's double my weight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and over here, there was a couple PPC shots. Yeah, the Jenner played with some PPCs that the Atlas gave to him. Yeah, or the Awesome. Yeah, Awesome, yeah. The yeah, Awesome yeah. hit him with yeah, two PPCs. You needed good numbers and hit one in the leg and hit the torso oh, the first one went through the leg and tore all the armor off and the uh torso and then the second one hit that torso and do, blew the torso out and so he hit the turf and uh, did, did when, he do the damage for falling or? yes okay. he did damage to himself and then when he fell he had one pilot hit and okay, yeah. and then he fell asleep <laughs> So we have a knocked out pilot when he augured in. It never hurt helps to have your cockpit as the point that stops you from falling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. All right, so that is it. Oh, yeah, the uh, hunchback right there took some shot to get hit with three medium lasers from the Jenner. He needed high enough 12s, and he hit with three of them. So that was a good roll. So he, he did the ungodly thing. And then, then the uh, Locust with his two LRM-5 put one into you. But you're lucky enough it was only 18 damage. And then you put a couple medium lasers into the Crusader. But the uh, they tore you up pretty good. My head's pretty much gone. The outer leg. My legs are pretty much gone. Outer yeah. armor. Yeah, you're running on skeleton. Yeah. It's time to disengage. It's, it's, it's time to go. Goodbye. Yes. All right. So go ahead and roll two dice. 12, 12. All right. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to get some reinforcements there. All right. So we'll be back with turn six. Turn six is in the books. And... Over here, the Warhammer looked at the immobile target that's over there and put two PPCs into a center torso and killed it. <laughs> put it down like a dirty dog. And over here, the uh, Awesome put two PPCs into the Crusader. And he's uh, stayed on his feet from the damage. And over here, the little spider jumped into the heavy woods right there and is attempting to hide from everybody. And he took a lot of fire and nothing connected. So that happens when you need 12s. And, but, you know, right Survive, now. Survive, what, five different mechs is shooting? Four different mechs yeah. shooting it? <laughs> everybody. Yeah, the five mechs shot at it. And you're lucked out. No wooden connected. If one of those had connected, you'd probably been toasted pretty hard. Yeah. Because it was all PPCs and LRM-15s and stuff like that. Okay, so that is everything, right? So those those guys over here moved around, not sure where the uh, spider would go. So the spider was the last thing they had to move that was lucky them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if it didn't, it'd be so dead. <laughs> it's like a dog fight that suddenly they, uh, it's like, where? Where'd he Which go? Way? Where'd he go? Yeah. Which way did he go? Hey, boo boo. Uh, let's see. Anything else? The hunchback got fired by missiles, but missed again. Yes. We That's... got two reinforcements. They got three. Yep. Yeah, the new reinforcements that came on were an Orion Warhammer and a Marauder, and you guys got a Trebuchet <laughs> and a Jenner. Okay, first guy that's up is the Ace of Diamonds. That's the <clears throat> big pig. Yep. All right, we'll be back with turn seven. All right, turn seven is complete. And, well, uh, these guys all moseyed up, come around the corner. And the Crusader is over here, faced off, and everybody fired at the Crusader. He took a lot of damage, and he just stood there and took it. 
And he turns around and whips around and fires into the hatchet man that's in his face who tried to hit him with the hatchet. And, well, he swung and a miss. And then he took a bunch of weapon fire. And then he got kicked in the leg. Kicked his leg from up underneath him. Fell on his face and took a pile of hit. Luckily, he didn't roll snake eyes again. So, yeah. You're laying down in the road with a bunch of heavies coming down the, the pipe. What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Road block. Later. Road block. Later. Gotta get out of here. Down the trees. Alright, so that is everything that happened this turn seven. And, uh, did I miss anything? Uh, oh, yeah. There was The other attack was the SRM or LRM-5s into the uh, hunchback there and did three points damage that was horrible you're kicking and screaming on the ground in agony from three points it hurts all right uh then they've still got the smoking jenner laying over there i think that's it right turn eight is now in the books the reinforcements have come on the board running over here and the LRM went flying over here and just hammered this uh, poor locust over there and this Jenner finished him off. And he went down in a heap of heap of trouble. Over here, uh, they opened up on the Phoenix, Phoenix Hawk and he just shrugged it off like it was nothing. Is that all you have? He ignore you guys. Over here, the uh, Hunchback Unleashed on the other locust and just hit him with a medium laser. That big auto cannon went flying by, but missed by that much. And over here, all these heavies unleashed on this poor rifleman parked right there and just tore him a new one. They had what four crits on the inside? I had two floater crits I rolled, and it caused four crits from two floaters in the right and left torso, and it took out four heat sinks. He's a hurting unit. He's hot. What is his heat right now? A lot. A lot. <laughs> After four. Which way I do? So, uh, let's see. Then the uh, awesome one fired with a really good salvo into the Crusader back there, trying to expect it to finish off and missed. Or with one crit. Not enough. Yeah, not enough. But he, they returned a fire back at you and hit the dirt, so they lucky mm -hmm. you. Except you did get hit in the back of the head from a by the locust over there. He shot you in the back of the head. Yeah, there you go. Except you shrugged it off. All right, so that is the end of the turn. Uh, you do have one hunchback coming in as your reinforcement, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that is it. Turn nine in the books over here. We had a little scrum going on. We had this locust come up on this backside of that uh, Jenner, did a little bit of damage to him, then tried to kick and proceeded to fail and fell flat on his face. Yeah, that was not so good. Did a little bit of damage to himself. Over here, the uh, hunchback tried to unleash into the Phoenix Hawk with his big guns and those little guns and proceeded to hit with nothing. But then he kicked him and almost kicked his leg off. He's got one internal structure left. But the big thing is, is that the, uh, between the Warhammer here and this uh, awesome, fired in and put 50 points of damage into the center torso of that poor Crusader and destroyed it. Just cored it out. Yeah, it was not good. And that was before the, uh, you know, the uh, sway back there unleashed and hit with six medium lasers. Yeah, you did a heck of a job there. And you did a little bit of damage with the rifleman, too. So it was like, those guys are hurting a little bit after that little attack. Eh, let's see, only the uh, trebuchet put some rounds into the Phoenix Hawk, right? Yeah. That's where we had to make that. Oh, I made that pilot check. 
because between the Jenner and the Trebuchet, you did enough damage to make him. That was 22 damage. That's right. Yeah. So, hurt. All right. So, that is... Oh, you know what? I did not take a pilot check for getting kicked. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's oh. your best friend, Mr. Snake Eyes. I've been rolling a lot of Snake Eyes today, trying to hit and get in crit location. <laughs> All right, so he's going to fall on his face. Uh, he fell on his uh, front. So he fell on his front, and he is uh, going to take five points of damage to Go ahead. his... Oh. <laughs> he blew off his leg. No, oh, that's not so good. He just broke his leg off. We don't know where we can shove that. <laughs> all right, so we'll be back with some. Uh, you got your reinforcements are all on the board coming up over yep. there, and that is that's last year reinforcements. I do yep. believe. So it's not looking good for the home team. All right, turn ten is in the books. All right, uh, what happened over here was the locust is trying to run away, being chased. It's kind of hard to run away from something that's just as fast as you. So, not working out so well. And uh, he flipped his arms, put a little damage to the uh, yeah. Jenner, and the Jenner tried to kick him, shot him, and did some damage to him, and tried to kick him and missed. Over here, the... Spider put some rounds into the uh, down Phoenix Hawk and then tried to kick it and missed. How do you kick something that isn't moving? Moving is beyond me. But you did it. <clears throat> you did it poorly. Uh, okay. And these guys over here fired some rounds and did connect a little bit, but not enough to do much. Uh, the big question of the day was is the AC-20 connected, blew the leg off the uh, Warhammer there, and he crashed and burned. He hit hard. And he basically, and then you put a medium laser into him also, into his head, if I remember right. And then he took another head hit. So he's still conscious, but he took two head hits out of that deal. And let's see, this Warhammer over here is looking pretty shot up so what are you gonna do you gonna get him out of there what's that your warhammer he's looking a little shot up yeah he's back in the room all right yeah he's being chased by that uh fresh uh orion is it coming to papa let me shoot you up some more okay and that is pretty much it All right, turn 11 is in the books. All right, these guys moved up. Over here, we had the Locust is trying to run away, being chased by the uh, Jenner. And the Jenner put some rounds into him. The Locust put some, didn't do anything that time. But then the uh, Jenner tried to kick the Locust and failed, and then failed his pilot check and fell on his back. So, yeah. But over here, the Hunchback put an AC-20 into the uh, Phoenix Hawk and then kicked his center torso in with the rest of the way and finished him off. So that was the end of, end of the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, let's see, we lost the uh, Warhammer there. Correct. You get... And then uh, the Awesome and the Swayback put what 70 damage into him yeah the two of them just did like tore off half his armor yeah on that marauder he's like i think he'll start backpedaling and over here the crab and the trebuchet put enough damage into the uh orion that he tripped and fell on his face and or on his back and well he has to stand up if he wants to do anything so that's pretty much it did i miss anything other than the Orion did some good damage into the crab and the uh, they punched some holes through that awesome. You're lucky. Yeah. 
you're lucky is that uh, I kept hit, I've been hitting the dirt a lot against you. That partial cover has been helping. Mm -hmm. me. All right, so that is the end of the turn. Uh, no more reinforcements, so we just want to flip my shoveled. So three of diamonds is up, and we'll be back. All right, turn 12 is in the books. We have this guy. He didn't fall right there. He didn't make his pilot check for taking 20 points of damage, so he fell on his buttocks. Alrighty, so everybody unloaded onto the Orion. He's a crater now. They did hit the ammo, but I had shot the AC-10 enough times that when the ammo explosion went off, it didn't kill him. That was a good thing. One of the few times that actually happens. But then you just proceeded to crit it to death anyway. So took out its engine through crits. There's that. And he did have, what, four head hits on him. So I'm not sure if he would have stayed awake anyway. Hard to say. And then, then well, AC-20 to the chest. And a couple medium lasers. And a large laser hit the Marauder, failed his pilot check, and fell on his backside. Uh, the Locust that was over there by the di or the tape measure, he ran off the board. He said, I had enough of this, I'm out of here. And this guy was just going to backpedal down the road anyway, just try to stay alive. They got inundated. But that's the end of the turn. I think we'll just call it there. Mm -hmm. This guy is done you're not gonna get out of there alive yeah so we'll call it that and uh we'll leave it there so what do you guys think of this battle too long a long very long uh, 12 turns and we started around two, two o'clock you know then it's 8 30 yeah yep. so it's about six hours Turns pretty sour at the start yeah and then it worked out in the end yeah <laughs> We're the late game. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, so we're six hours, but we had a, a break or two in there, so it's like six hour game. That's half an hour per turn. That ain't bad. The turn started speeding up as we got less stuff. You guys were getting better at organizing your attack, so there you go. All right. Hope you guys liked this one. Had fun. Enjoy. Lots of death and destruction. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you all later, and uh, we'll see you.